Hi, little wildcats. Since we're talking about farms this week, I thought I would read you the story called The Little Pig. It's a really cute story. It's about a boy who has a pig for a pet. Some people have pigs for pets, like they have dogs and things. Probably not in Vienna, because I don't think you can have one here. But some people really think pigs make excellent pets. And there's a little boy named Michael who has a pig for a pet in this story. Let's read about it. The Little Pig Early one spring, a litter of baby pigs was born at Apple Tree Farm, down the road from Michael's house. Every day after school, Michael rode his bike to the farm and watched the piglets play. They always looked like they were having so much fun. One little pig was much smaller than the rest. The mother pig paid special attention to her and even gave her extra milk when the other piglets weren't watching. This little pig was Michael's favorite. He liked to call her Lucy. More than anything, he wanted to bring Lucy home with him and take care of her. But the farmer said she wasn't big enough, at least not yet. Look how cute she is with her mother. Look how small she is and how big her mom is. But little by little, Lucy got pinker and plumper, and at last the day came when she was ready to go home with Michael. Michael put her in a big basket filled with straw so Lucy would be comfortable on the bumpy ride home. Michael thought Lucy would stay put, but Lucy had other ideas. Whoops! Before he knew it, Lucy had tipped over the basket and away she ran. Michael scooped her up just in time. After that, he held on to the basket and Lucy until they reached his house. Right away, Michael took Lucy to her new pen. He carried in two big armloads of straw and then put Lucy inside. Oink, oink, oink! Lucy squealed over and over again. She seemed to like her new home. Freckles, the dog, came to see what all the noise was about. He had never seen a pig before, but soon they were rubbing noses like old friends. Then Lucy burrowed under the straw. Maybe she was trying to play hide and seek. What a funny little pig. Michael soon found out that Lucy was a pig who liked to do things her way. The next day, he took her out into the field. Michael could tell that Lucy was hungry, so he brought along a bottle of warm milk. But would she drink from the bottle? No. Then Michael had an idea. He poured some milk into a dish. Lucy slurped up every drop. Good piggy, said Michael. Now you'll grow. Michael loved Lucy, even though she was difficult at times. He built Lucy a sturdy wooden house of her very own. As soon as the paint was dry, the little pig moved in and made herself right at home. He's so cute. <laughs> Lucy liked her new house, but she liked Freckles' house even better. Sometimes Lucy would jump in and out of the doghouse over and over again. She thought it was a game. Freckles was very patient with Lucy even when she decided to take a nap inside his house. He always sat and waited until she came out again. Lucy was a very curious little pig. She loved to get her snout into everything, especially dirt. <laughs> Lucy also loved to go exploring. Lots of times she wandered off into the fields. There were always flowers to smell and insects to watch. One day, Lucy wandered off too far. She grew very hot and very tired. Look at her eyes. <laughs> it was too far to walk back home, so Lucy lay down in the cool grass and waited for Michael to come and get her. Oink, oink, she called out to him. At last, Michael found her. Lucy just smiled up at him, flopped down in his lap, and went to sleep.
Imagine having a pig for a pet fall asleep on your lap. It's little pink nose. <laughs> One day, two of Michael's friends came over for a picnic. Lucy was taking a nap inside her house. Michael was glad. We don't need Lucy around to mess up our picnic, he said, and his friends agreed. But Lucy was not asleep for long. The children were so busy talking and eating that they did not notice the little pig sneaking out of her house. Lucy headed straight for the picnic basket. Very quietly, she poked her snout inside. The first thing, thing she found was a bag of chocolate cookies, her favorites. One, two, three, Lucy gobbled them up. Oink, oink, Lucy squealed happily. Lucy, cried Michael, I should have known you wouldn't miss a picnic. There was nothing else Lucy wanted in the basket, so she knocked it over and waddled across the blanket. She ate a peanut butter sandwich and some watermelon. Michael looked at his friends and laughed. Lucy sure made a pig of herself at our picnic. One afternoon, Michael saw a sign for a pet show. The pet show was going to be held the very next day. This pet show here Saturday. He was sure Lucy would never win a prize. She was much too naughty and squealy, but he thought it might be fun to go anyway. Lucy would need a bath right away, so Michael went to find her. Was Lucy in her house? No, of course not. She was never where she was supposed to be. Was she in Freckles' house? No, she was not there either. Michael finally found Lucy eating his mother's flowers. Lucy grabbed, or Michael grabbed the little pig. Gotcha, he said. You are getting a bath now. <laughs> Looks like she's squealing. Lucy struggled to get away. Michael had to hold her tight. His little pig had grown much bigger and stronger. Michael carried a bucket of warm water for Lucy's bath. He was very careful not to get soap in her eyes while he scrubbed her. But Lucy still kept squealing and trying to get away. At last, the little pig was clean. Michael carried her back to her pen. Now you stayed put, Michael told Lucy. <laughs> He's still so cute. Would you want a pig for a pet, guys? The next day was the pet show. Michael got out his old red wagon and put Lucy in it. But Lucy did not want to ride in the wagon, so Michael tried Freckles' leash, and that worked just fine. It was a very hot day, and on the way to the pet show, Michael let Lucy take a swim. She really liked that. Imagine Lucy swimming in our creek near school. When they got to the pet show, the other contestants were already there. One boy had brought his box turtle. Another was carrying a soft brown bunny. 